This is the front pocket. Let's do this. So here are the pockets, the right and the left. Then here's the facing that we will place on the right. Here's our facing that we'll place on the left. Then we will sew them here and here. And then here, here, this is the watch pocket. We will stitch it with just one line. Then after that, we will um, place it over here. The stitch length is between 4 and 5 because I like fewer stitches per inch. I'm attaching the facing to the right side pocket bag. I'm stitching 1 16th inch from the edge. Let's give me the back stitch. I slow down at the corner. With the needle down on the fabric, I turn the corner and go again. I end the run with the back stitch. I'm preparing the watch pocket. I'm stitching one centimeter from the top of the watch pocket. I don't back stitch for this one. I'm eyeballing my watch pocket placement, but it's better to have markers to be honest. I'm doing double rows here. I always put the needle on the down position when stopping at the corner. Next time I will use a thicker fabric for the pocket bags. I don't have the regular white pocket fabric on hand, that's why. I'm hiding the corner ends using a tweezer. I use quarter inch for the double row stitching. It's a standard measurement for double rows as far as I know.
Oops, I was supposed to stop at the edge. That's okay, I'll just continue then. Visualize the placement of the pocket bag like so. Then I turn it over, right sides together. I follow a one centimeter seam allowance here. I'm just making sure that I have enough upper thread to start the run. Double checking. It's an old habit. You can use pins to keep the fabric steady while you sew. I'm okay for now. I have to admit this blue cloth is not the best material for a pocket bag. But it's still okay, really. This tiny cuts make it easier to form the pocket. I normally don't do this cuts for the front pocket, but I think I should make it a habit. Pressing the pocket opening using my fingers. I press with the iron sometimes. This pocket bag shouldn't be visible from the outside. I recommend pressing with the iron. I'll do it next time. I'm doing two rows of top stitching. You can go faster if you like. I don't sew fast anymore. I do it at a uh, relaxed pace nowadays. You can iron it if you like. I'm turning the pocket bag inside out to stitch the inside. I saw about one eight inch from the edge. I'm turning over the pocket with the help of this, of this crochet tool. I make this corner come out nicely and then do some finger pressing. Again, I recommend pressing with an iron because it just makes sense. 
It's something I saw from others that I'm adapting, but I'm not used to it yet. For years, I've, been, I've just been using my fingernails as pressing tools. Quarter inch stitching from the edge. I'm glad you're still watching. If you haven't done already, please subscribe and click on the notification bell in order to be notified of my next video. Thank you so much. I'm stitching the pocket bag at the side and top. The process for the left side is the same except there is no watch pocket. 